What's going on guys? We are back once again and you know with a lot of things that's going on in Marvel I figure I'd go ahead and give you guys uh, my personal review on a show that I know a lot of people love including myself which is Daredevil. If you guys really don't remember Daredevil again go check it out. Badass show. Badass acting. Everything you can think of again check it out. It is worth it but either way um Again, I think that this show really went into the the comic book origin of Daredevil. I mean, not only did we get to see the upcoming of uh, Matt Murdock, again, we we have Charlie Cox starring as Matt Murdock. We got Deborah Ann Wool, who plays Karen Page, who is an upcoming... Uh, reporter. Then we got uh, Foggy, who's played by Eldon Henderson, who is the uh, partner slash friend of Matt Murdock. And then, of course, we got Vincent uh, the Offerno, who plays the Kingpin. Amazing casting. Then, of course, we got introduced to John Berthar as the Punisher, which, again, you guys know I'm going to be probably doing a review on that amazing series as well. I have to say the two best series that I really enjoyed on Marvel and Netflix was Daredevil and Punisher, and this is the reason why. Again, when they introduced Bullseye for Daredevil, I didn't enjoy that too much. I, I thought that was kind of silly in a way. Um, I think Daredevil a whole, I loved how they went from him not having the suit and then at the very end how he got the suit and how upgraded it was i absolutely loved that and i loved how they really uh put into the martial arts within him being blind and then also his uh back and forth with trying to be a vigilante slash uh a lawyer, like a lawyer during day, vigilante by night. And again, with him being blind and then him having very magnificent abilities with him being blind, you know, his sense of smell, his hearing, everything that went into uh, his abilities after what happened to him to enhance his abilities, how he enhanced his abilities, and everything he went through as a child to being an adult, and then even, you know, trying to still hold on to a small business firm within Hell's Kitchen, and then also having to deal with, you know, relationships and then past relationships, and we can get to meet, meet Stick as well. We can get to meet um, the uh, other, you know, characters within the world of Marvel, you know, with Char Charlie Cox reprising his role in Spider-Man No Way From Home, and then, of course, um, other, you know, him and Jessica Jones, and then, you know, uh, all, all these other characters, and I, I loved it, man. I really did. I think Charlie Cox is perfect as Daredevil. I enjoyed his uh, portrayal of him. I think that there needs to be more of him showing off as, of course, not only as Daredevil, but Matt Murdock. I think he did great as not only one character, one persona, but another persona. Again, the movie with Ben Affleck, it, whether you love or hate it, it's there, but this show went into more detail about the character and went into more about the religious side of him to the evil parts of him to the good, it, just everything. It, it really went into... Um, I would say if you like Arrow, you could probably really get into the show. You could probably get into the good and the bad of it. But again, it's one of those where you could really binge watch it and just get done really quickly. And then go on to another Marvel show like The Punisher or Jessica Jones or um, it's something like that. Or even Iron Fist or anything of that nature. But again, I may do those shows here in a bit. I don't know. But I really want to talk to you guys about Daredevil because again... Uh, Daredevil, he wasn't one of my favorite characters, but he was also a very interesting character. I really enjoyed the portrayal that they gave him in the story to where we saw him from literally learning how to be a vigilante to becoming a badass vigilante. And then, of course, uh, we get to meet Elektra and then a Punisher, which was absolutely incredible. Seeing those two on... Uh, I think season two of Punisher was my absolute favorite. I think that was probably my favorite season uh, we got to see of uh, the Punisher mixed with Elektra and the Punisher. And even, you know, John Bertha, he brought it against uh, Charlie Cox as the Punisher. And I absolutely enjoyed it. I got to uh, just sit there and admire how the creators of the show were able to bring such magnificent Marvel heroes from the comic books onto 
the screen and then you know we wanted that in the movies and it didn't happen like we wanted it in the movies and now marvel's i think is trying to get another chance to appease the fans to give the fans what they want from the shows into now the movies so again it may happen with time it's not going to happen overnight it's going to be a process marvel has a lot of things in mind and i think overall with this show it really brought a lot of things in the fact especially with kingpin's story uh which is extremely dark um electra's story which is extremely dark um even with characters karen and foggy you get to know a lot about their history as well so again if you want something i would say very if you liked arrow then more than likely you will like this there's a lot of comparisons to both these shows so again if you like them go check it out if you guys ever watched daredevil what did you guys think about it did you guys hate it did you guys love it um do you want it to come back i personally do what do you guys think if you guys are new to the channel subscribing the big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed what was your overall thoughts of Daredevil? I'd personally like to know down in the comments down below. And I'll see you as always on the next one.